Hey YouTube, this is Marcus with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually add a TCP IP port for communicating with printers. And if you're having a similar issue that we were having with an HP printer, hopefully this can help you fix that issue. We have here at the house an HP OfficeJet 4652 all-in-one printer. It's connected to our wireless network, so none of us are plugged directly into the printer, and it's actually a pretty nice printer for our home personal use. But we started having problems where we could print something and then after we got one print job through basically the printer would stop responding and you would not be able to send any other print jobs to the printer until you restarted the whole printer and then you would get one more print job and it would stop responding again now i had installed the official hp driver package the full software suite uh, on all of our pcs and even when the printer would not respond and take print jobs you could still punch the ip address into your web browser here and get to the little embedded web page on the printer itself. So the printer was on the network and was working and responding to some requests. It just wouldn't take print jobs for some reason. Uh, so I decided to start looking around. I said, well, let's make sure that the device is actually configured properly. So let's go in here to our settings. And we go to devices, printers and scanners. And now right here is the printer. Now sometimes right here, see where it says app available for this device? Sometimes it would say that. Sometimes it would say error, can't communicate. Uh, or sometimes it would look fine, and then when you would try to print, it would pop up and give you an error message saying it couldn't communicate with the printer. Now there are ports saved to this computer that are available to use to communicate with printers, scanners, fax machines, things of that nature. So if you click on this and hit Manage, click Printer Properties, and then ports you can actually see the ports that are saved as well as which one this particular printer is using so you can see this is the one that was installed by default with the HP software and it's actually not a normal network port it's an HP network rediscovery port monitor uh, I'm not sure of the details of exactly how it functions but what I discovered is that if you actually reconfigure the printer to use a standard TCP IP port uh, instead of this, it alleviates the issue. Now you can either do that here on add port or let's go back out here and you can click print server properties over here on the right and this will show you all of the ports as well. So let's go ahead and let's hit add port and let's say standard TCP IP port click new port, next printer name or IP address 10.1.1 1.5 uh, we're gonna say port name can be whatever you want it to be it's just a descriptor I'm just gonna leave it there so that when I'm looking at it in the future I know what it is let's hit next and finish and then close and on close so now we can go in here on this one and hit manage again printer properties ports and so now we can scroll up and we can actually change this to communicate on this port instead of this one and let's just hit apply okay and we go back and it detects the printer just fine now let's say that you upgrade your printer in the future let's say you no longer have an HP OfficeJet 4650 but because it's the primary printer you decide to go ahead and reserve the same IP address so let's remove this printer here yes so let's go ahead and hit add a printer or scanner it's going to search for a little bit and it may pop up here but what we're going to do is when it gives the option we're going to click on the printer that I want isn't listed we're going to say add a local printer or network printer with manual settings we're going to hit next we're going to say use an existing port and we're going to select the one that we created 10.1.1.5 we're going to say next and now we're going to select the driver for our printer. It's an HP OfficeJet 4650 series. Now, if your make and model is not available for you to select in here, you may actually have to go download and install even just the basic driver package for your particular printer. We've already got it selected HP OfficeJet 4650 series. Let's hit next. Use the driver that is currently installed printer name is whatever you want to name it 
Now, it may default to say share this printer. We're going to say do not share this printer because it's connected to the network itself. So we can all communicate directly with the printer. There's no need for me to share it through my computer. So we're going to say do not share this printer. Next. And print a test page. And then finish. So we have manually added a TCP IP port and we have configured our HP printer to use that port instead of its default port that comes with the HP software. I did some searching when we started having our issue and I found all kinds of people online uh, that were unable to print more than one job at a time without rebooting their printer. Uh, and I won't guarantee that this will fix your issue, uh, but it just occurred to me that you know maybe I should take a look and see how is it communicating with it and let's try reconfiguring it and telling it to look directly at that IP address and it just so happens that it was using some kind of custom thing uh, that it had put in there so maybe manually adding just a standard TCP IP port and then pointing your printer to it uh, might actually fix your issue if you're having that problem now you shouldn't lose any functionality in doing so Using the TCP IP port, we can still print double-sided, we can still adjust settings. We, we haven't lost any functionality or ability to communicate with the printer. Uh, we can even still use the app to scan documents and everything, all using the custom port that we created instead of the HP port. I hope you guys have found this video informative. We have manually added a TCP IP printer port and configured our printer to use that port instead of its default port. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. And as always, this is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one.